We're now looking at this more general setting of sponsored search auctions, more general than single item auctions. We no longer have just one item for sale. We have some number of K items for sale, the slots available for sponsored links on a search results page. And so the question we're now asking is, well, can we generalize the Vickery auction and its nice properties, specifically its truthfulness property, uh, can we generalize that to the sponsored search problem? And then separately, I also want to you know, just tell you how these things actually work uh, in practice. Like a Vickery auction, we're going to be looking for a sealed bid implementation, right? These are all auctions that are happening super quickly in real time. There's not going to be some auctioneer and some ascending auction. You really want a one-shot sealed bid auction where advertisers submit their bid through some interface to the search engine, and then you can instantaneously run an auction whenever you want. So the step one, you know, with sealed bid auction is just you collect the bids. So nothing to see here. Same thing as in the Vickery auction. Uh, the question then is, what do you do with the bids? And you have to really make two different decisions when you're designing an auction. So first of all, who gets what? Who are the winners? And secondly, who pays what? What do those winner pay, winners pay for the items that they receive? Let's talk first about just deciding who wins, who gets what as a result of the auction. Right, so back in single item auctions, all of the auction formats we looked at, uh, they awarded the one item for sale to the highest bidder. Right? That was true for the second price auction, it was true for the first price auction. So the question is, what is the analog here now that we have K items for sale? Well, uh, you know, the K items, they're not identical, but we can order them in a way that everybody agrees on. All the bidders agree that the best slot is the top slot. All the bidders agree that the second best slot is the second to top slot, and so on. So who's worthy of getting the top slot? It kind of feels like that's what the highest bidder should get, right? Similarly, you know, okay, so the highest bidder is taken care of, has the best slot. Uh, who should get the second best slot? It kind of feels like it should be the second highest bidder, right? Uh, and that's correct. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing, and that's exactly what's done in practice uh, in what's known as a generalized second price or GSP auction. So in general, we're going to be considering auctions uh, where the jth highest bidder gets assigned to the jth best slot, the slot with the jth highest click-through rate, alpha sub j. Uh, now, in general, there may be more uh, advertisers than there are slots, in which case, if you're not among the top K bidders, you get nothing. You don't get displayed at all. So the step two, deciding you know, who wins, that felt pretty obvious back in the single item auction, just give it to the highest bidder. Um, it feels pretty obvious here in the sponsored search auction, you know, just go through the bidders from high to low bids and give them the best slots to the least slots uh, to the worst slots in that order. And indeed, that's a good idea and that is what is done. So, you know, in a single item auction, sort of all the, all the complications were in what should the pricing rule be. And so what we want, we want an analog of a Vickery auction, so we'd like a truthful auction. And notice that, you know, just having step one and step two, we cannot at this point uh, comment on whether we have a truthful auction or not, because we haven't specified what are the payments, right? In a single item auction, if all I told you was that the highest bidder want, wins, and I asked you, is it a truthful auction? You'd say, it depends. I mean, if you're charging the second highest bid, then yes, it's a truthful auction. But if you're charging the winner their, their bid, the highest bid, uh, then it's not a truthful auction. So same thing here. To talk about whether this auction is going to be truthful or not, we need to say, you know, what is the, you know, what are we charging the winners? So now the question is this clever idea in the Vickery auction of charging the winner the second highest bid, the highest bid by somebody else, what would be the analog of that in this more general sponsored search setting where we have these K slots? So let's go back to the intuition uh, for the truthfulness of the Vickery auction, right? We said that really what was driving that truthfulness result was that somehow the auctioneer, you know, delegated bidding and effects to the auctioneer who bid optimally on your behalf, right? The auctioneer gets to see what all the bids are. And so if you're going to be the winner, the auctioneer says, in the case that you win, I promise you I'll basically shade your bid down to the minimum amount necessary uh, to continue to win the auction. And that's sort of why it was a truthful auction, you know, because you're very happy to sort of delegate uh, your bid to this altruistic and all-knowing uh, third party, the auctioneer, to set up, to bid on your behalf. So what would be the analog in the in the um, in the sponsored search context? Uh, well, so again, you know, if you, if you have the top slot, if you have the best slot, you know, and you bid 17, and then the second highest bid is 15, you, know, you can imagine the auctioneer saying, well, you know, to keep the top slot, uh, you could have gotten away with the bid as low as $15.01, so that's all that I'll pay you. Similarly, think about the advertiser who had the second highest bid and wound up in the second slot. Uh, you know, maybe they bid 15 and then the third highest bidder bid 13. So you can imagine, again, the auctioneer saying, it's like, well, you know, you could have bid as low as $13.01 and still been granted this second slot. 
So that's all I'm going to charge you. I'm just going to charge you, you know, $13 for the second slot, not your bid, which is $15. So if you continue that idea all the way down, uh, you result in what is known as a generalized second price or a GSP auction for sponsored search, uh, where, you know, as discussed, the, the, the Jth highest bidder is given the Jth best slot. And what do they pay? They pay the minimum bid at which they would continue to receive the Jth highest slot. That is, they are paid, uh, the, um, that is, they have to pay the next highest bid. So the J plus first highest bid overall. So these generalized second price or GSP auctions, they certainly do generalize the victory auction in the sense that if K was equal to one, if actually you only had one slot, this would literally be the victory auction, right? Where the highest bidder wins and what do they pay? They pay the highest bid by somebody else, the second highest overall. So the K equals one special case of a GSP auction is indeed uh, the Vickery auction, and then this is the definition of a generalized second price auction for an arbitrary number of slots, K. And so these GSP auctions, these really are the dominant paradigm in real-world sponsored search auctions. So you really do now know, uh, to first order, how Google makes uh, the lion's share of its revenue through auctions of exactly this form, these generalized second price auctions. But it's the original format adopted by Google almost 20 years ago, which was then quickly adopted by you know, Yahoo and you know, Microsoft Bing and other sort of search engines uh, at that time. Obviously, lots of bells and whistles have been added over the years, and you know, some more complicated auctions are out there as well. But still, this really is the dominant paradigm in thinking about uh, search auctions, generalized second price auctions. That's all great, but there is kind of a loophole in the, in the story I've told you on this slide. Right? We wanted to generalize the Vickery auction. And we see the GSP auctions do generalize the Vickery auction in the sense that when K equals one, the same as the Vickery auction. Uh, and we sort of define the payment rule trying to mimic this intuition about why the second price rule gives you a truthful auction uh, for single item auctions in the Vickery auction. But we actually haven't commented on whether or not generalized second price auctions are truthful, whether in that sense we succeeded in generalizing the Vickery auction to sponsored search. So that's the question we'll take up on the next slide.